this so you can. Get yeah, get the viper. Yeah, right. Get the viper. Right. Okay. Uh, all right, Opie. Tell me, for everybody out there who's seen you for the last two years, what do you want to say? I want to say that these past two years have literally been the greatest two years of my life and uh, my career in the military. 21 years in the military. I have never had a more fulfilling and rewarding experience than what I've had in this uh, air show community over the last two years. I know there's a military angle to it. On my part, we're a great recruiting tool and I value that. We honor our veterans, our wounded soldiers when we fly. But for me personally, it's 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 been very rewarding because of the people I've met, the friends I've made. Uh, it's a family. And it's very rewarding in a sense. It's an instant gratification. You know, I work on aircraft for 21 years. And my reward was the next day a pilot would fly an aircraft that I worked on and I would find out that it was good. Great, there's my reward. Now I can come to an air show or an event and talk to a child or a teenager about anything. I mean, I'm not trying to tell them to join the military, just trying to let them know, hey, anything you want to do, you can do it. Set your mind to it. But I can talk to a child, teenager, adult for two minutes and I know, bam, right away I've made an impact. It's an instant reward. I mean, there, there's nothing like it. So, this wasn't a job for me. Two years, this was not a job for me. This is, this is life. This, I, you know, this, this could be a fun day. I, <laughs> I'm not going to cry on camera for you. I'm not going to do it. But no, this has been absolutely the greatest experience. Another aspect of this experience that I'm really proud to have been a part of the Heritage Flight. Uh, everybody knows what the Heritage Flight Foundation is about and how we do this with honoring the past and the present, merging them with the old aircraft. I'm very honored uh, here at Thermal for this last air show that I get one last uh, Heritage Flight Formation narration with you know, Steve Hinton, it don't get much better than that in the uh, Sabre. That's, that's been another part of the air show world that is just phenomenal. The Heritage Flight Foundation, what they're doing, what they're promoting, I, I hope it sticks around for a long, long time. So, what else? I'll tell you a great story, and actually, if I tell you this story, you'll be able to put some nice closure to this story, and I'll explain. When I first got hired to this team back in 2009, uh, just just to take me on the road with them to see what I was getting myself into. They took me to an air show at Edwards Air Force Base in 2009. And I wasn't in a flight suit, I just had a Viper West polo on and I was hanging out by the show center area. And this little this little boy, about seven years old, came up to me and uh, he said, he said, hey, are you are you a pilot? I was like, no, no, I'm, um, I'm enlisted. I'm gonna be with the Viper West demo team next year. This is my first air show. Well, this little boy, his name's Ben, this little boy started to explain to me what I was going to see at air shows. He was telling me what planes were what. He, he knew everything. And he was a huge Chuck Yeager fan. Chuck Yeager was there. He, he broke the sound barrier in the back of a F-15. And when he got out of the jet, little Ben wanted to get his picture with Chuck. So I had a Viper West shirt on. I knew I had some access, even though I was new to the air show thing. So I grabbed Ben. His dad let me grab him. I grabbed him, and we chased down Chuck Yeager. And I got him a picture with Chuck Yeager. I'm actually in the background. It's really funny. So anyway, you know, Ben made a real impression on me. So fast forward a whole year later, I'm at an air show in Miramar, and I'm walking down the crowd line, and I hear this, this little boy screaming, Carl, Carl. It was Ben. He remembered me. I now, and I felt bad. I didn't remember his name at the time, but then we talked. But he remembered me. He, he was looking for me. His dad said that he wanted to come to that show because he knew Viper West was going to be there. He wanted to see me. And then they came here in Thermal last year and saw me here. So I've kept in contact with Ben. <laughs> anyway, he's like my first air show friend, so to speak. So today he's going to be here, and I had a, uh, a Viper West jacket made, the ones we wear, the same exact coat we wear. He's got a little name badge, you know, Benjamin Moore, honorary uh, member of Viper West. I'm going to... So anyway, he'll be here today. This is how my day's going to be. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> hey, what, what do you think a camera is going to do? <laughs> well, this, this, ladies and gentlemen, this is the best part about air shows and being a performer in air shows that you get to get in your car and just drive wherever you want. And just, like, look. Drive. Ooh, look. 
there's a helicopter. I'm driving. Hey, look, there's a Corsair. I'm driving right by. And look at me. I'm going down the active taxi. This is kind of, it's kind of funny. Before I got hired to the demonstration team, I had absolutely never, ever been to an air show before. Ever. I love planes, but I don't like crowds. So I'd never been to an air show before. So the fact that I love it this much and want to stay in it, that's really crazy. But I don't have to deal with the crowds because I can do this. Look at me. I'm on, we're on a taxiway, people. We're, we're away from the crowds. <laughs> And these are our beautiful Viper West F-16s. Actually, this is the last day that I get to say those are my F-16s. I won't get to say that anymore. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. This is going to be a fun day. One, two, three, and you go ahead. Okay, now we talked earlier. I told you the story about the little boy I met two years ago. This is Ben. Ben and his family came down... Uh, to see the show, they knew it was my last show. And as I tried to tell you before, before I started getting all teary-eyed, Ben is my very first air show friend. Little little kid like this, this was my very first air show friend, my maybe my first man, right? Yeah. So what I thought to do for Ben, I have a little gift for you. This is this is these are the same coats we all wear when it's cold. And from this day forward, you are an honorary member of Viper West. So, looks a little big. Here, get up. Let's put this on. You have it to grow into. <laughs> that looks sharp. That looks sharp. And I, just so you don't forget me, I went ahead and put a little note in there for you. I had to give you a little note so you don't forget me, my buddy. So, so anyway, this is Ben. This is the the most memorable uh, difference or someone that I met on uh, the air show world. So there you go. Take a bow, Ben. <laughs> You're welcome. Now you can shut that off. All right.